good morning, my soccer universe. Well, yesterday's Champions League evening was more like it, I would say. Uh, I actually was all set for Atleti against Juventus, and then um, the zone is not showing it because Sky is showing it. And I was actually a little bit disappointed at first when I said, okay. I said I'm gonna watch a game, let's watch Schalke against City, which to me was almost the least interesting round of 16 matchup, but boy was that a good game and I was I was actually quite happy that I ended up watching that one. And yeah, let's start with that one before we go to the Atleti uh, game. Uh, first, first, first of all, uh, Royal Blue against Light Blue is not a bad matchup to watch. Uh, I saw it already with Chelsea against City. Um, I really like it color-wise quite some. Is it the perfect one? No. Uh, but I think it works quite well and it again, Uruguay and France should play each other in their primary jerseys. It has no need for France to play in white, but well, same goes for Uruguay. Anyway. The game started as you would expect, Manchester City having loads of possession, uh, Schalke being very deep with having five defenders or four in the midfield, a uh, very defensive uh, starting lineup to kind of try to disrupt Manchester City and they did overall a good job in keeping City at bay, although um, you really cannot, with all the talent that City has, it is not an easy task. And just when you thought that, yeah, uh, the game has settled in a groove, uh, there was a foul on Ut, which was basically the only offensive player, uh, that Schalke kind of seemed a little bit, um, how to say, a little bit upset about, or they lost a little bit the concentration, but they had the ball. The foul was, uh, the ball came back to Schalke and he's lying there on the ground and instead of uh, taking it out, they pass it to the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper passes it back and David Silva was waiting exactly for that, passes it to Aguero who can slot it home. And then of course they're all looking at the uh, VAR and mm, it's not gonna be overturned. Probably all right-ish. I don't think it was that big, big of a foul and I have to say Schalke, if they want the Ut to be taken care of, they have to uh, take care of the ball, put it in the out, not uh, do, do as they did uh, in the game. And that was actually a big, I thought it's a big blow for Schalke, but then um, they put a lot of emotion into the game and that actually helped them a lot. Uh, and you could see that after the 1-0 there was a, 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 some half chances, I mean nothing really big, but you know, Team City is somewhat uh, satisfied with their result and Schalke could come a little bit more, but I thought it was um, a handball on Kelly Jury that was uh, given right uh, in the Schalke's own half where Karl Kalicuri got very upset with the referee uh, and you could see how he's arguing and blah 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 and just a few minutes later a uh, shot in the box uh, into the box by Schalke and it, uh, Otamendi touches it with his hand I personally think that those penalties are the, uh, this is not necessarily a penalty because I mean there was no movement towards the ball but yes since we have VAR we know that those will be given it took forever it took forever and it's mainly down that the referee tried to I mean he didn't want to look himself on the, on the screen he was always communicating with the VAR booth which honestly is probably not the worst idea um, take have people in the booth make the, the, the call for the referee uh, because the referee walking out I think it takes a lot of time so uh, 
I personally like this that he's communicating with the VAR booth and they can make the decision for him because I mean after all they are a refereeing team and only if they are uncertain let the referee go out but it took forever and it's mainly because uh, first the Schalke players are all in the ref's face and then the city players and he has to take the captains which of course the Schalke captain is uh, the goalkeeper and until he has it sorted out and gives the penalty it took a good four minutes uh, the, pen the penalty was taken very nicely by Bentaleb 1-1 uh, game on and you could see that through the emotion uh, almost against the referee this gave the upper hand to Schalke and Manchester City actually lost their cool they were playing typically emotionless City style uh, nice to watch, lots of possession, but it, I always feel a little bit emotional as well. Schalke is kind of this typical uh, German fighting team. And yes, if have, having said that, I do like Schalke. I mean, they are among my four Bundesliga teams that I actively support and probably the biggest of the ones that I support. Not all in terms of titles, but uh, fan base and overall standing and uh, the stadium in Gelsenkirchen that's one of the uh, greatest stadiums in Europe I have to say this was there that's a really really great stadium uh, my favorite feature is that you can roll up the grass although the pitch yesterday was <laughs> not all that great anyway game continues Schalke gets a free kick and off the free kick another foul another penalty for Schalke and Bentaleb this was very nicely shoots it high into the opposite corner uh, goalkeeper was there uh, not on, on on the first and suddenly Schalke has a 2-1 lead uh, which I thought was the, really what the game needed and it made me quite quite happy because I didn't expect anything like that and so it goes to halftime I mean City was angry and came out angry and uh, was it was like a handball game uh, City always around the box but it was then a situation I mean uh, only lasted for about 10 15 minutes and Schalke kind of uh, could hold City better at bay and then uh, Otamendi makes a stupid foul and gets it off with a yellow red and at that moment I thought wow Schalke may kill off this game maybe they can go in for a third I mean this would have been wishful thinking well they were count against City uh, Sané who played for Schalke in his youth he comes from their old academy uh, City gets a free kick Sané takes it in 85th and absolutely perfect absolutely perfectly taken makes it into a 2-2 that was a really great kick. Uh, as much as I was unhappy about it being take uh, 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 about it being being converted, once you watch it, there is really nothing that anyone can do about that kick, honestly. And yeah, I thought, okay, two two, what can I do? Maybe yeah, but Schalke better take that result and uh, take it home. But you could see City smelled the blood in the water and yeah they used uh, a kind of a, a concentration lapse of concentration in Schalke's defense uh, was a big kick of Ederson that was misjudged and suddenly Sterling is alone in front of the goalkeeper makes it a 93-2 great game I thought Schalke would have deserved a draw but you know City is City kind of was on the ropes but in the end made it got the away win and yeah they probably look relatively safe moving on but i think a win for schalke was well in the cards but i had this feeling that you know if they if city gets a goal they might make the second one i always had this uh, sense of foreboding and i should have, should have been more optimistic but <laughs> i was right in the end now the other game, Atleti Juve. Oh, that was a that, that was also, also a pretty good game. I mean, yes, yesterday the games, uh, well, maybe for yesterday, the Tuesday games were relatively boring. But the Atleti Juve game, wow! Uh, it seems Atletico needs a big challenge in order to get something going. Uh, 
It started with a Ronaldo free kick that was saved by Oblak, uh, and then I think the first half was mostly notable that um, Partey and Diego Costa got their third yellow card and they will be suspended uh, in the return leg. And that Atleti, after Juve initially having uh, the initiative, Atleti then uh, taking slowly over. And in the second half it was all Atleti. Which to me is uh, beggars a little bit belief. I know that Juve didn't look good, but Atleti looked horrible, especially last weekend. They absolutely looked horrible. But they had huge chances. There was a chance where Diego Costa runs alone to the goalkeeper, uh, just watches the finish. Um, Griezmann, I think, yeah, that was next. Again, alone to the goalkeeper, wants to lob it and it goes to the bar. Then Morata seemingly scores his first goal against Juventus. I mean, we all know that when Juve made it 2015 to the final, Morata was their big striker. Uh, gets the goal, but he shoves away Bonucci, so the goal is taken away by VAR. In that moment, I think everyone in Atletico's camp thought VAR is the worst thing ever. But then Atletico makes the breakthrough through Jimenez. <laughs> a defender, I think it was in the 78th or something like that. And just a few minutes later, Godin, the other defender, gets the second goal. Absolute crazy. I mean, the place is going, going nuts and, you know, the game, the final is being played in Atletico Madrid's home stadium. So, uh, that adds to the drama. That Juve cannot get more going, honestly, was to me, uh, big surprise. I really thought, I mean, Juve, the Champions League is all that they're thinking about these days. Uh, that's why they, why, why, they, why they got Ronaldo. You don't need Ronaldo to win another Scudetto. I mean, for that, you could have kept Igo in. You know, it was the Champions League and uh, rather disappointing. Well, Bernadeschi had a great chance to make it 2-1, but overall, I have to say, from what I could tell, Juventus did not show up and was overwhelmed by Atletico Madrid. And yeah, it's again La Liga, unfortunately. I mean, I love Serie A, but it shows again La Liga supersedes Serie A uh, quite comfortably. It's not so close. Uh, the Premier League always tends to get the edge uh, over Serie A teams, but uh, La Liga, it's way more uh, obvious. So yeah. <sighs> Big result. There was also, I mean, there were other games being played yesterday, but I think the one that I want to talk is Europa League, uh, Sevilla Lazio, where Sevilla got a relatively easy 2 0 win. Uh, they had an early goal by Ben Yedda, then uh, Lazio already needed two goals, um, got their chances. I mean, uh, a Sevilla player was sent off at that moment, uh, and there was the one big chance by Immobile, but uh, not too much happening thereafter. In fact, um, Caicedes, I'm not sure, uh, about the name was then sent off for Lazio and then um, Sarabia makes it 2-0 for Sevilla and whenever Sevilla makes it past that round they win the trophy. Um, I'm not sure how what to think about it. I've seen Sevilla win uh, the Europa League too often to be really in favor of that, but on the other side, I don't dislike Sevilla. So let's see how it goes. Well, it was a great soccer evening. As I said, I was a little bit disappointed initially that I couldn't watch uh, Atleti Juve, but I was very happy that I saw this great Schalke City matchup. Uh, I really enjoyed that game. Not the end result, but the game itself was great. Well, let me know what you watched and if you watched, they very, very agree with my assessment. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.